Alrighty folks, here we have a little old school Palomar here, TX100. Um, these actually have two transistors in there and these are rated at uh, RMS. So this box should do around 200 watts, if you aren't familiar with that. These are, these are cool little old school amps right there. Um, I just made this cover for it here right there. I, I made... Uh, Brake lights out on UPS. Anyways, I went ahead and made this new cover, and I uh, went ahead and used the uh, truck bed coating, just like I did over here for this radio. I really like this stuff right here. So let me go ahead and show you the inside of it. Okay, there's the inside of it right there. I know the lighting's not the best. Look at that. AMF. Remember, they were into, they might still be, bowling balls. And uh, they purchased, I think, all or part of Harley Davidson back in the 70s or 80s. Where they've had their hands in everything, that company right there. Anyways, let's get a shot of these uh, transistors here. These amps used all kinds of different transistors in them. And uh, it looks like this has the, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is AB biasing with the little uh, diode over the transistor there, heat heat tracking, something like that, I believe. Oh, my dogs are in here making noise. My dogs are in here playing today. Anyways, neat little amp. I'll go ahead and hook this one up here. We'll see what it does. Hey, come here. Come here. Want to say hi? What you doing down there, huh? Yeah? Alrighty, folks. So I brought out my Galaxy DX959. This is one of my last radios I can use to test with. It actually has a variable power that'll get down about a watt all the other ones are set up hotter but anyways um here's a galaxy 959 um this one's just you know been aligned and peaked and tuned and stuff like that um by a by a real professional guy here you know that lives uh within distance of me um he sets radios up just uh perfect and uh, he's got all the equipment. He's just a real good guy. But anyways, um, so here's this radio. I know this thing is just, you know, dead perfect the way it's set. Anyways, here's a little Palomar. I just hooked it up. I haven't tested this prior to this. This is going to be the first time that I've tested it. I've seen this on another bench, but this will be the first time on my little setup here. So the radio into the little uh, Palomar 100, into the meter, and then into the dummy load. And we're exactly at 13.8 volts. Um, I've got the RF power all the way down. So it's just the uh, radio. The amplifier is not on. We're on the 5 watt scale here. So just uh, over a 3 quarter, between 3 quarter and, and 1 watt there. And... Um, you know, when the RF power is down that low, Galaxy doesn't have a lot of swing. You've got to crank that power open to get, you know, a lot of swing, but I'll show you. Audio. Audio. Doesn't have a whole lot until you crank it up. So, we'll go ahead and turn this little amp on. Turn it on, and I guess we'll... Preamp here, let's see. Okay, well this isn't on an antenna, but I know the preamp does in fact work. There's SSB, there's AM. Leave it on AM. Let's see. Key. Okay, it's keying. Okay, let's see what we're getting for a dead key here with just a between just a hair over three quarter of a watt. We'll put it on the 50 watt scale, see what that does. 
Ooh, wow. This little lamp's going to need less than that. That's probably going to need like half a watt. I'm going to have to open this radio up, maybe turn it down a little bit, but for testing purposes, we can do it real quick. So we're on the 250 watt scale now. It's about a 75 watt dead key. That's definitely too much, but it's not going to hurt it to go ahead and, and test it like this real quick. All right, go ahead and holler in it, see what we get. 250 scale. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. So that's doing, um, just over 175 PEP. And you know what? Let me grab another mic because I got this noise canceling mic. I bet that'll help. Stand by. All right, not sure if this will make a difference. I threw another mic on there. Same 250 watt scale. Hello, audio. Oh. Oh. Definitely does. So there you see it's going over 200 PEP. So uh, it's definitely working. Definitely working well. Um, I guess we can go ahead and try it on sideband. Put it on sideband. Put the radio on sideband. And we'll see what, what happens here. Okay, here we go. 250 scale still. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Check, 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 check. One, two, one, two, one, two. I'm just talking normal right now. Hello, audio. Check, 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 check. Shh. Oh. Oh. Hello, audio. Check. One, two, one, two. Yeah. Definitely working. Good little amplifier there. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show the show the little lamp there. Um, once again, I think that Rust-Oleum truck bed coating comes out super nice. Um, honestly, guys, to make this cover, I, you know, you could go up to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy a little piece of sheet metal, and they're probably going to charge you like eight or ten dollars. Um, I just went over in the uh, roofing department of Lowe's, you know, where they have the flashing and whatnot. There you go. Just bought a piece of flashing, um, marked it all out, you know, with my dimensions, and uh, went ahead and took a pair of 10 snips, cut it exactly how I needed it, and then went ahead and bent it, you know, both sides, bent it over there, and uh, gave it a light sanding, drilled the holes in it, and hit it with the truck bed coating, but I think it turned out great. Anyways, that's a that's a nice little amp right there. You know, that, that's a good 200 watt amp right there. All right, guys, or you know, 200 watts PEP, 100 watts RMS. All right, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.